So ours is a fun little segment of entertainment to talk about, isn't it? Because listen, at the end of the day, every single um, console, PC, whatever little part of the marsh we find ourselves in, you know, everybody in a corner of the woods is responsible for some kind of stupid, stupid conversation in gaming. <laughs> um, let's highlight a few, right? Xbox players care, but us exclusives don't matter, right? <laughs> it's all about playing engagement. Oh, God. Wow. That was the thing we had to live through. Um, PlayStation gamers, they are now bringing us... What did they bring us? Oh, they, bring, they brought us the world map. Oh, where is Sony? Where is the next showcase? Oh, my God. Do you guys remember in 2020? Was it 2021 or 2022? They were insufferable with it. Oh, where's the next showcase? Where's the next showcase? And then the next showcase that they got was trash. That 2023 showcase, many of them wish it never happened. <laughs> That's why I keep telling you, asking for a showcase just for the sake of it isn't worth it. But Nintendo, I don't even know what Nintendo bought. I mean, that for children anyway, so nobody cares. But PC, oh my goodness, PC. <laughs> Oh, the amount of trash conversations PC brings us. Oh, and by the way, listen, this whole sweet baby ink thing, I haven't spoken on it on the channel. Of course, it's a dumb conversation. The Stellar Blade thing, of course, it's a dumb conversation. In fact, I specifically did not want to talk about those things because they were dumb conversations. Um, But PC brought us something amazing. Amazing. And I mean, this is new to me, so I know it's already been out for a few hours, but I had to talk about it. I spoke a little bit about it on Twitter, but man, whew, we have to talk about it. Okay, listen. <laughs> sorry, sorry. <clears throat> oh, you know, last time I realized that um, it's kind of hard to watch. So let me just zoom in. There we go. That would be a little bit easier for everybody watching. Listen, hell divers too, right? They say hell divers, an important message from our partner PlayStation about linking i can't link it for place for pc players any significance in providing player safety features okay now the full message there basically says this okay how diverse uh two uh, players on pc will need to link a playstation account to their steam account in order to keep playing the game um so you know what let me just read it let, let's why am i why am i in a hurry um, i apologize let me slow down Helldivers 2 account linking update. Attention Helldivers. Due to technical issues at the launch of Helldivers 2, we allowed the linking requirements for Steam accounts to a PlayStation Network account to be temporarily optional. That grace period will now expire. See details below in this post. Account linking plays a critical role in protecting our players and upholding the values of safety and security provided on PlayStation and PlayStation Studios games. This is our main way to protect players from griefing and abuse by enabling the banning of players that engage in that type of behavior. It also allows those players that have been banned the right to appeal. As such, as of May 6, all new Helldivers 2 players on Steam will be required to connect their Steam account to a PlayStation Network account. Current players on Steam will start to see the mandatory login from May 30th and will be required to have linked a Steam and PlayStation Network account by June 4th. PlayStation Network accounts are free and easy to set up using the link. We understand that while this may be an inconvenience to some of you, this step will help us to continue to build a community that you are all proud to be a part of. Many thanks to you. Many thanks for your continued support of Helldivers 2, Sony Interactive Entertainment. First of all, I just want to say it was very nice that um, it is actually SIE that signs this letter and it is not Arrowhead Studios because they are way too small a studio to be able to put up with some other backlash. <laughs> Yo, can I just ask, why is this an issue? Why is this an issue? <laughs> How is this an issue? How are we here? How are we here? How are we at the point where you being asked to link an account that is free to another account that is also free? 
How is that a barrier that needs to be? It's trending on Twitter. Listen, I'm not making this up. Okay, why the look at the hell divers is trending. It's it's literally it's. <laughs> oh, and they, they and they are not happy. By the way, these are not happy. Like, oh my God, hell divers got a wonderful update. Nah, 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 nah. They don't care about this, and they are pissed. Oh. I love the PC Master Race. Listen, you guys are weak. Weak. Okay, listen. <clears throat> I swear. If by whatever godforsaken, unfortunate reason, I ever become a PC gamer, I think I'll hide it. Because I would be embarrassed to be on playing on the same platform primarily as some of you guys out here. It's crazy. It's embarrassing. So wait, you have to link up an account to another account that comes from the company that made the game. You know what? You know what? I don't even I don't even get it. I don't know how this could be an issue. I truly don't understand how this can be an issue. Let me put that to fake down. I don't understand how this could be an issue because the first thing you might think, right? The first thing you might think is, okay, they are changing the rules. Okay? They have captured all of these people and now they are going to use them to bolster their data gathering to bolster their playstation active users whatever the point is it is an underhanded tactic that will now force people that have bought the game with a different set of terms or conditions okay and now it will be retroactively applied and of course this will be an issue right this this that i will fully understand until you find out, let me let me set this up. Until you find out that this has been oh my goodness, Jesus Christ, I'm not I'm not old enough to oh god, you know what? Steam sucks. I don't know what people see in this platform. I'm not permitted. Uh, I can't. Apparently, I can't do even mock it because I have to sign into Steam. You know, just just say how funny that is. I have to sign into Steam right now. Because apparently my um my Steam account isn't linked and blah 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 blah. So you know what? We're just gonna do this live. You know, I'm not gonna start the thing again. Uh here's my Steam account, which I don't use. And I just wanna access the page. But apparently, uh, you know, I have to log in. You know, if I was a PC gamer right now, I'd be throwing a tantrum. I would be like, oh my goodness, Emmanuel, how is it that they are forcing you to log in just to be able to see a page? But you know what? That's fine. I'll just log in. Even though I don't know exactly where the login code is. Oh, there we go. There we go. We got the code. Yes, we can sign into Steam. Okay. Whew. I linked my account to my browser. It's It was so painful, guys. I just, I can't believe Steam made me do that. Now I can finally set up Helldivers 2. Ah, uh, there we go. There we go. <laughs> All right. Where was I? Here we are, okay? Here's a page for health history. And as I was saying, you might think it was an underheaded tactic until you find out, look right here. Requires third-party account. Place the shared network supports, link. <laughs> All of it was there. PlayStation network, right? It always required you to have a PlayStation network account. Just like they said on the, on the, <laughs> just like they said over here. It was always there and it was always here right there see look they even tell you that it has a third-party dim it tells you to agree to the to the ruler to the euler or whatever it is yeah but the point is right there in the middle it requires this oh my goodness i mean you gotta love steam right it tells you all of this on the page and these pc gamers are throwing tantrums why why are we supposed to no, i was supposed to feel bad for you <laughs> Yo, you know what? Here's the thing. Here was my issue. Here was my personal issue. Not a boycott. Not a mass movement. Not everybody did delete the game. No, 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 no. My personal issue with Helldivers 2 was that gamers on PlayStation would have to pay a fee, the PlayStation Plus required, okay, in order to access this game, which means you pay for the internet and you pay for the game. Whereas people playing on PC, Steam, or wherever would not have that same requirement. You see, PlayStation gamers, it's not just an inconvenience for us. We have to pay for the privilege to play this game on top of purchasing it. You guys are just being asked to link an account. You don't have to pay 
online. If this was paying online, I get it. Hey, listen, nobody wants to pay online. But the point is, this is free for you. And you are still getting the better deal. People playing on PlayStation have to have a PlayStation account. Now, so do you. But people playing on PlayStation still have to pay for online internet requirement. And you don't. So what sympathy am I meant to give you? And you know what? When I raised this issue on, um, on, on Twitter, people told me to get a PC. Even though that didn't fix my issue. Because I wanted to play on PlayStation. I, I have a PC. There it is. I'm, I'm, I'm shooting this on a PC. It's, it's a really nice one. It's a, it's a nice PC. Um, but I didn't want to play on PC. That was my preferred place. Nothing wrong with actual PC. You know, this is fine. It's good. I mean, this one kind of pisses me off because... You know, it is a PC, but still, um, you know, it does what it does. But I was told to get a PC. So you know what? In order to solve this whole linking your account, you know, to, to Steam and everything, PC gamers, PC masters, I humbly put forward that you get a PlayStation. Doesn't solve your problem. Mm, yes, but neither did your suggestion solve mine so and you know what this this is the thing right this is the thing take a look on the playstation store right here right here okay right there i don't know that somehow made everything smaller right there um here supports up to four online players with playstation plus and right there at the top playstation plus required for online play So where is our cry party? <laughs> where are our salty tears? Everybody that got this game on PlayStation, they are paying online to play. You do know that a person that is a PlayStation gamer could have stumbled upon this game at a store or been recommended by a friend. And they went to pick it up, you know, the physical edition. And then they took it home and then realized that they had to pay for PlayStation Plus. It doesn't even come with like a month free of, of PlayStation Plus. So you can actually see if you like the game, whether it's worth for you paying online access. No, 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 no. For PlayStation gamers, they get a short head on the stick. Still, to this day. But you know what? I believe in God. And God teaches me every time that I pray that I should... Ask for my sins to be forgiven and forgive others. And you know what? I like to think of this moment as an olive branch from Sony. Hmm? I didn't even know that this would be an issue. I was totally confused when I first saw it. I was like, okay, you require the um, PlayStation account to be linked. I was like, all right, cool. But then I see the responses from everybody, including... A lot of PlayStation gamers that, you know, also Moonlight as on PC. And they're like, oh my God, it's terrible. You're going to kill the game. Let the game die on PC. Then let it die. <laughs> we don't need you. <laughs> let it die. But you know what? Seeing all of these tears. Mm, I feel a certain level of catharsis. Okay? Listen. I, I love it. I love it here. Yeah. I love seeing them cry in these streets. Grown men and women just crying besides themselves. Oh, oh I'm going to have to get a PlayStation account. <laughs> Bitch, I have a Steam account. I don't use it. You saw it. I just needed to sign in just to be able to access the store page. Is that my fault? Nope. But do I need a Steam account? Yup. You know what I got? I got a Steam account. And I linked it. That's it. It's it's on my it's on my it's on my it's on my computer. It it does nothing for me, and I got it. At least your PlayStation account would allow you to play a game. Hmm? So listen, <laughs> you're getting no sympathy from me. You know what? I'm gonna make a suggestion to anybody at uh, Hell Divers, Arrowhead Game Studios, PlayStation. Sony, Sony cameras for all I care. Sony online entertainment, even though that was closed. EverQuest developers. <laughs> to anybody with any power to do anything about it. You know what you guys should do? You should charge them. Now that you have the PlayStation accounts, you should charge them to pay online. You should, you should do it. 
<laughs> you should do it so that they know what it feels like. Because, hey, listen, when I was saying my little piece by myself, asking no one to do nothing, I wasn't, there was no call to action. I was just saying what my problem was. All I did was tag PlayStation and be like, this isn't okay. PC gamers ran into my little corner of the internet, okay, and came in and verbally assaulted me because they told me that I was too dumb. As a console gamer, because we agreed to play online back in like 2006, was I, was I there? Did I make that decision? Nope. I inherited the state of online gaming on consoles like most of you did. I inherited it. I wasn't there on day one choosing whether or not this would be acceptable or not. Mm -mm. But you know what? I found it that way and I played along and I paid my dues. So you know what? It's okay. It's okay, PlayStation. Charge them. Make them chat. Yeah, yes, yes, yes. You'll never pay for it. Yes, yes. I know, I know, I know, PC gamers. You guys are so good at boycotting things. None of your boycotts have ever failed. Because <laughs> that's what they're doing now. Now that, oh, I'm going to refund it. Why are you going to refund it? It was always in the terms and conditions. You're kind of dumb for not reading those. It was there. It wasn't hidden, you know. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Did they kind of do you a little dirty by not specifically mentioning like 500 times that you would eventually need to link a PlayStation account? Sure. But then again, they're kind of doing PlayStation gamers a little dirty by making us pay to play online for a first party game. So you know what? Fuck you. <laughs> you know, like you can fuck right off because uh, yeah, yeah, you're, you're just downloading. You're just you're just you're just linking. Sorry, you're just linking a um a free account. You don't have to pay more money. And I don't I don't I don't begrudge you that. I truly don't. You know, like I was joking before. I don't begrudge you actually getting the internet for free. It's fine. But I will not stand for you complaining about having to link a free account. Do you do you think that if I could link, which I, I mean I've already done it, but if I could get online for free on PlayStation by linking my Steam account, do you think I wouldn't do it? Hmm? Like, it would be easy. I'd be like, yeah, okay, done. <laughs> like, done. And even if I did, like, it could be a um, GOG account. I don't have a GOG account. I, I will create one. I will link it. And then that issue would have gone away for me. And I would have been enjoying the game. So, you know what? Stand on business, okay? All of you little bitches whining and everything. You PC gamers. Hey, listen, by the way, I just, sorry. I just want to say, there are a lot of PC gamers that are actually quite respectable out there. You guys know who you are. This is an address to you. This is addressed to that little cesspool, you know, the little infantile pool from which we get the, all of the sweet baby in conversations, all of the, you know, petition signers, you know, for grumps, all of those people, those, that, that's, that's who this is addressed to. They are the same types of people that, that literally either the same or their neighbors. This is that side of PC gaming. And unfortunately, okay, the truth is actual master race PC gamers, people with like 4090s, 4080s, you know, people that are actually like at the tip of the top. They are like the most reasonable PC fans. It is always these um, pretend, well, it's these PC peasants that are really just mucking up the waters for you. Because it's these people that can barely run a game at like 900p without activating like DLSSS and, and, and FSR at the same time. If I do the right, you know, fraction of each and I go into the NVIDIA settings because I'm running this on a fucking potato, but then I'll tell you like, oh, I can get... I, I can get a game to run at 120 frames on ultra low settings. <laughs> Your console sucks. <laughs> hey, listen, listen. Now we can all be mad about the game. Huh? How about that? We can all be angry for one reason or another. Come, it's fine. It's fine. The water's warm. There's plenty of PlayStation gamers that didn't agree with the whole online requirement for PlayStation, yet free online for you. And you know what? We've been sitting calmly, peacefully, and we'll welcome you. We'll welcome you to the water. It's great. You love it here. You love it here. And you know how I know you love it here? Because you went download. You are not. You are not deleting shit. You're gonna bitch and complain for a month and a half. Then you're gonna run out of steam because you're like little bitches. Because none of your little, none of you, none of you have ever created a boycott worth having. None. Not even one. Oh man, I remember the good old days where you guys were gonna boycott a Call of Duty or boycott this or boycott that. They always end up selling more successful. Y'all can't do nothing 
You're going to whine. You're going to complain. You're going to do this. You might delay it for a week just to make yourself feel good. Like you felt something and then you're going to dial it right back. You're going to go in. You're going to get your little fingers out. You're going to go. You're going to create great anger. They tap your little keyboard. Bah, bah, bah. And then you're going to go. <laughs> and you're going to create that place to check out. Then you're going to link it. Because that's what you guys are. You're bitch mode. Cyberpunk 2077 came out. You guys bought graphics cards just for that thing. Then it was trash. But you still bought it. You complained it was unoptimized. You did this, you did that, but you still paid for it. You did. You did. You did and you kept it. And now you want to act all great because it's turned out great. But it's fine. That's okay. That's your achievement. That's your win. Because here's the thing. PlayStation gamers complained about the game too. And then Sony removed it. See, if there's any fan base that can actually get a game to be boycotted, it's the PlayStation gamers. But you're not going to get our support this time. You're not going to get our sympathy. You didn't give yours. It's fine. It's fine. This is a game from our first party company. Yeah, fair enough. And these are the rules that they put forward. And you should have known because it was written there. Valve isn't going to save you. Hey, listen, if Valve wants to give you refunds, I bet you they're going to have to do it out of pocket. Because Sony... <laughs> Sony's giving you nothing. Hey, you know what? You know what? They could reverse it. Let me not go too far. Never say never, you know? They could reverse it. But here's the thing. Here's the thing, ultimately. For me, okay, what I'm going to take out of this. I am enjoying this so much that whatever level of disappointment I felt, mm, I don't feel it no more. I will tell you this. You guys have until June 4th for all of you that have already bought the game. In order to do your best to get Arrowhead, Sony, PlayStation, whomever, you know, get um fucking Todd Howard to change the, the, the rules. But if by the end of June, yeah, if by the end of June, you're not proven to be the little bitches that I think you are. Again, this applies to the peasant race, not the master race. You, you PC master race people, I have respect for you. I actually do. I respect you guys because you guys actually walk the walk, talk the talk. But you guys know that there's only, let's be generous, there's probably 5% of you in the, in the PC gaming world that are actually like that. So for you, you, you 5%, you know what? Let me extend it a little bit. Let me be generous. For 7% of you PC Master Race people, you know what? I agree with you. My grievance, I agree with you. I have no problem with you. No qualms, no beef. If you have a 40, 70 and above, None of this applies to you. If you have a, um, what are we, i9? I think it's an i9. If you have an i9 or an i7, I think, I think they use Core Ultra now, you know, you can't keep up with Intel. If you have one of the AMD, you know, pretty much the equivalent processors for AMD. If you have 64 gigs of RAM and above, you need to have all of these things, by the way. You can't just have one or two. You gotta have all of them. You gotta have 64 gigs of RAM and above. I don't care if you say you don't need it. If you're a master race, you shouldn't be worried about the price, okay? Because I've got 64 gigs, so you should have it too. Uh, and I'm not part of the master race. So that means that you need to be above whatever my PC specs are. So if you have all these things, yeah, you you this doesn't apply to you. Oh, your, your power supply needs to be more than 800 watts. Um, you're going to have at least six fans. And at least three of them have to be RGB or all of them have to be Noctua. That, that's the only one. That, that's the only way that it works. Uh, you gotta have a case that costs more than a hundred dollars US. You gotta have if you're not if you're working off of like one of them eighty dollar gate any other cases. I'm sorry, you, you gotta have all these things, okay? Um, you gotta have at least two monitors, at least two. Or you can have one, but it has to be super widescreen and curved. Yeah, um, and forty forty p or above. Or you can have Three monitors, 1080p. Yeah. So two monitors at the bare minimum, or one monitor that is like super freaking awesome and curved. It has to be curved. I'm sorry, it can't just be like a 32 inch. It has to be more than 32 inch for the for the singular curve monitor. Um, I, I think like it's five R curve or something radius. Okay, I, I might be getting that specification wrong, but. You gotta have one of those, you know, the cool ones. And uh yeah, that's that's what you need to be to me, a PC master race. And I think if you are all of that, 
you will have no issue with this particular requirement because you know what you are above all of that so if you fit all of these requirements and they are not hard to get by the way i am only like i think it's only my graphics card that doesn't actually fit that because i've got a 3070 okay i'm not in the 40 range so you know what that's fine that's fine i don't need to be a part of the pc master race i understand i get it i get it but um everything else i've got hmm? oh and you're gonna have a cool motherboard like it's gotta be cool like a, at least $300 plus US. Again, master race. I'm not talking about people in middle class on PC. We're not talking about PC middle class here. We're talking about PC master race. So I hope you guys kind of jotted down all of those requirements and you could see where you stack against the PC master race. Um, but if you want to be a part of the PC master race, you've got to meet all of them. All, all of them. If your monitor isn't up to scratch, I'm sorry. You're not part of it yet. You've got to, you've got to get your weight up. Uh, if you're RAM, if you've got 32 gigs of RAM, you're not master race. You're in the middle race, okay? You're where I am. I'm in the middle, okay? I'm not, I will never close to being yet. No, 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 not interested in that. Uh, but I've got everything else, like I said, except for the graphics card. Only the graphics card is holding me back. But I'm not going to go and pay all this money for trash games. Um, then that's usually what PC delivers. Usually, 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 okay? You guys have Cyberpunk, you've got Baldur's Gate. Uh, you've got you've got a few other games that came from your world, so I appreciate that. Uh, yeah, yeah. So that's that's um, mm -hmm. that's it. That's um. So to you, I'm not speaking to you, but to everybody else, the other ninety three percent of you, yeah, I don't believe any of you. You're just blow hot air. Like we should just put all of you, and use you in like the hot air balloon industry, and we could just have like green energy. Um. Yeah. This was fun. This was fun. This was a fun day. I hope that you guys had as much fun uh, taking, having a laugh at uh, at all of these PC people because I truly don't get it. I don't get how you can whine about having to link a free account. But you know what? That's fine. Thank you, PC gamers, for having... Now you're going to put us through another eight weeks of talking about this issue. I think I'm going to post this and then I'm going to promptly mute hell divers too because <laughs> the amount of dumbass conversations i can already tell are coming just not worth it hey listen we've just been coming off of dumb conversation after dumb conversation and i've done my best to not even bring it to the channel but this time hey listen i had to get my legs in so listen <clears throat> we went from exclusives matter no we went from exclusives don't matter to exclusives matter uh, because of the whole Xbox thing. Um, and then when Xbox published those exclusives on PlayStation, exclusives don't, didn't matter anymore. Um, then at some point, we got caught up in Sweet Baby Inc. At some point, we got caught up in like DEI. At some point, a black-owned studio that made a black game centered around African culture was problematic. At some point, Stella Blade was over-sexualized. At the other point, she wasn't sexualized enough. <sighs> We've had a lot of dumb conversations in this past few months in gaming. And I'm just tired of it. I'm tired of the dumb. But this one is hilarious in a way that... Those ones were sad. Those conversations were sad. But this is just pure hilarity. So, listen. Love it. Love it here. I hope that you guys have a wonderful time. If you're a PC gamer, listen. Just link the account. Just create it now. Link it. Don't even, don't even, don't be one of the losers that's gonna have to take the L because three months later they're going to release a new update. You're gonna be like, ah, fuck, I paid for the game. They didn't refund you because of course they're not gonna refund you. And you're back on the game. Don't be one of those. Just link the account now. It's not that hard. Just be a grown up about it. Like, just, just get it out. Just get it over with. Just save yourself the time and the headache. Just stop. You don't have to. You don't. This is an unnecessary conversation. It's, it's an unnecessary movement. It's unnecessary angst. You don't need it. I'm sure there's plenty of things that anger you in your life. Plenty of things, you know, from relationships to work, to job, to commuting, you know, to being healthy. Like one day this is like healthy for us. The other day it's a cancerous, you know, insidious substance that the more we eat, the more likely we are to just spontaneous, uh, spontaneously comb combust and die. You know, like, oh, one moment you should have avocado. The next one, it makes you fat. The other one, it gives you cancer. The next one, it's good again. You know, like, there's too many things in life. 
that bring us angst and worry and anxiety, wars and slavery and genocide and neo-Nazis. There's so many bad things in the world. This one, even if you believe it's one of them, even you believe that they were being deceitful and dishonest, this isn't a hill to die on. Let's just, we can just all move forward. But <laughs> we won't.